Vai! Hi guys, it's Pure Gamer today. We're playing some more GTA 5 and we are going to be doing Rags to Riches again. We're going to be back with that episode. We're carrying on the series as you guys saw in the last video. It's sort of being rebooted and brought back. So, obviously the best way to make money at the moment is the passive way you're making money. So you might be doing jobs and other things like double money XP that we're going to be doing in a little bit. But while you're doing that stuff, you're still making money and your nightclub is active and the businesses are still active, then you are making money in your nightclub permanently all the time. So it's always good to start the Rags to Riches episode with selling. Now 663 grand, and we've got some people in the lobby. So what we'll do is we will um, click CAO, C C O O. We'll go on to CEO on Motorcycle Club. I go Motorcycle Club purely because it's easier to get my vehicles. And call them in. We'll sell goods. 663 grand. Confirm. Now last night I made 125 grand. I've done a playlist of seven. Of the new. Um, adversary modes with Lewis and everyone else. I didn't record it. I was going to record it or live stream it. But that might be tonight that we do that. Hopefully or tomorrow. Now I know I did not load a video yesterday. And I was going to. But I thought. So, thought I took a day to myself really that day. And I'm realising that, nope, I don't need that vehicle, because there's a vehicle down here for me. I get a 10 grand bonus for doing it, because there's other people in the lobby. So that's all we're good. And we'll try and get our weapon wheel active. Because obviously, yeah, and we can't. So we've only got a handgun and a shotgun. So if anyone does attack us, we've got all this stuff and a handgun and a shotgun. Why is it going first person? There we go. Why is it so, like, outwards... The camera on the angle on that was really weird. Right, so we're going to do multiple delivery drops. Where's the nearest one? And the furthest one is... I'm not even sure. Okay, so we'll go to that one first. How many have we got to do? Three. So it's not that bad then. Can we aim? How high can we fire? Oh, quite high actually. Have we got, um. Oh, I've only got missile. Yeah, we've got missile battery. Now, if someone does get in the way, we can blow them to pieces. Now, I'm quite looking forward to not the uh, free crawler, because that's just a little box car, but the um, Humvee that's going to be coming. I can't wait for that. It's going to be awesome, I think. It'll be quite cool. Now, I might actually be getting a bonus for damage, you know. Yeah, we're getting a damage bonus. So, basically, if we don't damage this vehicle, we get a little bit of a bonus. Now, it's hard because the way the camera angle is and the way the TV... Someone's moving my TV a little bit, so it's slanted. So, it's weird the way I'm sitting and the way that it actually is. Hopefully, no one will bother us. Based to finally get on. Also, Gangster's Paradise, I am planning on recording the next part of that very soon. We just need a day when we got Fraser, Anthony and Daniel on. Anthony and Daniel are always on, I'm always on. But Fraser's busy with work and other, you know, he just, he does stuff compared to what we do. So, we have that. Okay, which is the nearest one now? That one. Okay. Now, there's something behind me, isn't there? There's that little package behind me. There we go. I tell you what, if we end up with a bonus of two grand, it's better than no no money, extra money. Because every little bit of money helps in every possible way. Now, obviously, you've seen I've done a duplication glitch now. Obviously, I always try and do the Gangster's Paradise. I do the Gangster's Paradise legit. Every Gangster's Paradise I've ever done, the money on that is legit. So, if I go off at 5.2 million, some of that is dupes. But a lot of that is legit money. Because I put time and effort into making money, grinding through heists. Or at the moment, I haven't really bothered. I've just done the uh, pretty much the buy and sell missions for some of the hangars and warehouses and that. But then I haven't really bothered with that lately. 
as much because I've just had the nightclub, so I've been here to do whatever I want. So while I'm recording Gangsters Paradise or doing races with my mate or recording Top Gear episodes, I'm making tons of money in my nightclub. And you don't even really realise until you get into the nightclub. Like, I didn't think I had 600 and, uh, 663 grand, was it? I can't remember now. But I, did, I didn't think I had that much money, but I obviously did. And you just don't expect. All of a sudden, one day you come in, there's tons of money. So it's always good to have that. Even if you're selling like 200 grand, you can probably make, you can easily make 200 grand a day on that nightclub thing. So you ju you come on Xbox, you might put it on CCTV, go and do your jobs, go to work, do whatever. Or you'll turn it on, have a mess around with your mates, do races, do missions, things like that. So you're making a little bit of money from missions and CEO jobs and things like that, that you do. Or you can just be messing around, blowing people up, having uh, fights, things like that. But you're still making money either way. So it's always brilliant. And there you go. I am losing a bit of money. But I really do not like this camera angle for this vehicle. Right, okay. Now we need to reverse out of here and head towards the airport basically. Right, let's put a mark I'm putting a marker on it. Oh no, it's not the airport. I'm putting a marker on it because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So I'm not messing up. Also, I haven't got to focus on the map then at all really. Because I can just see it in the corner of my eye that I'm going on the right track. The only time I really need to bother about the GPS is when people are getting close to me. Then I'll do that and I'll see what type of vehicle they're in. Because obviously you need to make sure you're protecting yourself as much as you can with like... Say an insurgent heading towards you or a tank or something, or a helicopter, you just want to look out for it, see how close it gets, and see if it's circling your area. If it's not, and it's not affecting you, or it's flying above you and just goes past, then you're fine, but just watch it in case it's circling you. Sometimes you can make detours, hang on, we've got to take stuff. Okay, well, so much for being careful with it. The more damage it gets, the less cash you get. Well, no, it's that's not true. The less cash you get for a bonus. So ignore that. Unless all of a sudden he's going to go, oh, no, you get less money. But I don't see why if me ramming a car out of the way with this is not really going to do much. Like, I am in this vehicle, right? That has a wedge on the front. And it's a massive armoured lorry with missiles on. Ramming a vehicle would do nothing to the cargo inside it. Move out the way. Just move, please. Hang on. I was, what the hell? Oh, the game's done that stupid thing. And he's got on a down ramp. Right, let's get on a down ramp. Okay, nice little drift. Now we should basically just go through here. And go around the lot. Well, it's not a long way, it's the shortest way possibly, otherwise I'd have to go back around the bridge. All the way across and back down. This way is just the easiest and quickest way possible. Okay, so our bonus cash is 2,920. That's not bad. There we go, there it is. Jujum. Okay, how much cash should we get? Let's have a look. It was 600 and something grand. I think it was 660 grand, I want to say. But he takes like 100 grand, I think, or 10 grand, I'm not sure. And the sale is made. You get the cash. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. 
vault with that stuff in the club and send to the can. Okay, that's fine. Right. Go away. Right, okay. So now let's put 120 grand in cash. Put that away. That's what I earned last night. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go and do some of the new adversary modes. So you can see how much money you can make off that. So we'll join back when we're in an adversary mode. Uh, we are in the adversary mode. Now we are a defender, I think. Yep, we're a defender. Defenders are in the uh, armored duke, basically. Duke of death. We defend that vehicle. This is the worst one to do, though, because it's like the slowest vehicle possible. Now, the only thing is, the attackers, as you'll see in a few minutes, kind of cool. Here we go. It does look really cool on the side. No, he can't stop. If he's basically, you've got a speed on him now. Basically, there's a bomb attached to that, and if he speed, if he slows down at all, then the bomb goes lower, the speed goes lower, and then the bomb starts to rise, and he then starts to lose, and then it'll blow up when it hits the bottom. So it is kind of annoying because there's only two defenders. Oh no, there's three defenders. Right? Okay, that's fine. But there is four attackers. It's slightly annoying. And they're in armor Karumas. That makes it kind of annoying. And I hate this one. I absolutely hate this one. Because basically we'll hear a beep beep. And that'll mean that the bomb is getting too low. And it's about to blow up. Right, it's got past one of the hardest parts. Now there's loads of little things though that they can clip onto. Like that wall there. It's not looking good. He needs to now just reverse like mad. No, 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 don't, don't. Drive forward, drive forward, drive forward, drive forward. That's it, send them off, send them off. Drive forward, drive forward, drive forward. That's perfect. Now this thing can become very stressful on the harder ones, like these. And my own teammates ran me. Forward, just drive as fast as you can. As fast as you can. Right, two of them are off, but they could just spawn back in and so can we. Everyone can spawn in, except from that van. Okay, dead, don't drive that way, what's he doing? Oh, that was close. Yeah, I could see that's happening. Get to what you're doing, you idiot. There's nothing I can do for you, mate. That's your own fault. So we've been so close to the edge, and I did run him behind, but at that point, there's no point anyway. Just trying to give him that extra boost to see if he could... Because when you get to the corner piece, you can go over the corner piece, you have a certain speed, but that vehicle's just awful. Now, you're earning five grand, and you'll do about three of these, but the longer it takes, the more money you can get. So you, the winners can get about 10 grand, 10 to 20 grand, but overall, you can get 21 grand each round. And you can earn about 100 grand overall. But if you keep winning, then you'll earn 200 grand overall if you keep playing them. Um, about five hours, you can make about 500 grand. So you're making about 100 grand an hour. So it isn't the fastest way. But remember, you're making money in your bunker at the same time and any of your other businesses that you have product in. So it is good. Okay, so now we're attacking. Now, basically, the best thing when you're attacking is, and I'll tell you, because we've, hopefully we're going to go through a few of the jobs, because what I'll do is I'll cut after this one, and then I'll hope to get, um, I'll rejoin back when we're in a different vehicle, so I can show you. Now, I'll tell you, though, because it's not 100% guaranteed, though, to get into the vehicles you want. Now, that person's probably messed up, because, um, 
Well, now two of our people are already at him and he can't defend. That's an issue that he's now caused. Right, basically this one, you just want to ram as quick as you can and as powerful as you can. Get that person on their side and just flip that thing as much as you can. Get it into corners on this one. Because then once they're in a the corner or in a barrier, they can't move. There's nothing they can do. There we go, push them against the wall. And sometimes teammates for that boss thing are going to go underneath it, ram it, things like that. They're not really helping them, teammates, for him, really. I'd say they've just made things worse. It's about to blow up, I think. Three, two, one. I'm underneath it, so it'll blow up. There we go. Right, so... For this one, you want to get underneath it, ramming it high speeds, do anything you can to flip it, get it into walls. Now, if you are in the, I'm trying to think of the names, the scramjets, what you want to do is you want to get behind the vehicle, behind the rally vehicle, because it's a rally van that the, the um, defenders have to protect. And as an attacker, you will use a scramjet. So what you want to do is you want to get under it, just as you get under it, because you've got to drive it full speed at the back, boost just before you go under it, and then press ls and you will jump so when you jump you then flip the vehicle and hopefully it'll roll now it might actually flip it over a barrier if you're lucky if not it won't but it is very like i prefer the first one first one out of them all is the one with the scramjets and that is my favorite okay now i'm in the bus so i hate this one so i don't expect to get very far so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick speed run and then we're going to go to another one if I fail. Okay guys, so we're doing my favourite one. The one I was talking about, number one. Now we are defending first, it's okay. And then we have four attackers, it's not bad, but it's obviously not brilliant. It is better when you do have full equal teams. You know, we get that one extra player, I think it is. We would have four defenders, and then we'd have one person driving. Then we'd have them four attackers. But it's fine, it's okay, we can deal with it. This one's my favourite one too. It's more fun, I find, and it's you know using the new scramjet, so it's a lot more interesting, and people don't get bored because you're using jet cars and things like that. So, yeah, it's a lot more fun. Okay. Now, sometimes what a good thing to do is is get behind your teammate and do what I think he's going to do. Yeah, boost him. Now, some of them you can make trains and get ultimate speed and that, but basically the main thing is that thing will flip, but it won't always flip the way you want it to when you try and control it, because it is a rally truck, and it's very uncontrollable when it does start to flip and roll. So you have to sort of tame. It's like a wild horse on Red Dead. Oh, and that's the only thing they... I forgot. They can jump. And that is why if they get onto your vehicle, boost, then get up and jump. It becomes a pain, but it's really fun though. It makes it more challenging with two boost cars on either side. We seem to be doing okay. Oh, hang on. I might have just jinx us then. Hang on, what's going on the vehicle? Come on, come on, come on, come on, get back up. Go! Speed. No. That's it. Go on. Turn it. Turn it. No. No, no, Go, go, go forward. Perfect. Oh, that was so close to clipping him. The scramjets are annoying with the jump, but it's just so funny. Oh, well... Yeah, I think they also have a bit more ramming power, I think. 
Now this is the bit where it can sometimes go wrong completely. This jump coming up. Thanks teammate, like. This jump, we need to boost him over. Otherwise if they get like it slight, they get under him or slide him across or anything, then that he'll roll and he'll have no speed whatsoever when they land. And that becomes an issue. Yeah, that pretty much did nothing what I just did then. Oh, that's it. Perfect. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, hopefully I'll land perfectly now. Not really. I don't how I don't know how he didn't land that. That's my question. Because no one was near him, no one was ramming him. Just messed it up for himself, really. Come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, well that was his own fault. He just messed that up for himself by landing that really badly. All he had to do was have it straight, but for some reason he was doing rolls or whatever. But now we get to be in the scramjet. So I can show you a bit of the scramjet scale. Okay, so here we go. You can jump with LS and A is to boost. Here we go. Oh, he's flying away him. Eh? Right, let's get under this vehicle. Oh, it might already be over. I don't know. I'm rolling, but I kept it. Oh, it's so close. Excuse me. I'm just going to... Oh, I'm underneath him. And it wouldn't let me jump when I was underneath him. Excuse me. I'm keeping control. Oh, no. Boost away from the corner. Yeah, we're not doing very good at the moment. Come on. Let's pull this together. But then to be fair, it is the first corner. I class this is the first corner. Because this is the first major part that it'll all go wrong. Because it's just before the jump that's the hardest part. Once you pass the jump, it's easy. Yeah, don't fall out. Ooh, I thought you thought, what the hell is he doing? Going in for the kill. Please, ramp. I want you to just spin out, mate. Oh! Yep, that happens if you boost. He'll just spin out. Okay, yep, he's at the uh, point. I don't want him out. Because once he passes this point, it's really easy. Oh! Oh, he boosted off. And so have I. So have I. That hasn't gone well. Just keep holding the Y if that happens. But yeah, we are doing really bad. Really bad. But at least you spawned next to him, so I guess that's good. Yes! Go on, push him off! Oh, I thought they pushed him off then, his own teammates. Oh, damn, I fell off. So close. Gets really intense. Now, this video might be a bit over the half an hour mark, but it is a rags to riches. You guys always want to see how to make money anyway, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. There you go, their own teammate might have just messed them up. I don't know, because I'm still flipping. 
Please blow up, please blow up. <laughs> that kind of cool. Yes! We are the champions. Round winner. Ten grand, there you go. Well, that's where I'm going to end this episode because you don't need me to see the winning thing and that just goes on for ages. We'll either win 21 grand or just under. So that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Press the notification button down below for instant notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Zuzi on the track.